Welcome back to AFTV. Good 2 0 win, and I've got Christian here to break it down with me. Um, what do you think? Comfortable? Comfortable, yeah. I, I think I did a fan cam after the Sevilla game. I don't know if you remember the 2 0. And I went in on Havertz a little bit. So I'm going to say. I do, and I think I was interviewing you for that one. You were, you were. So I'm going to say I owe Kai Havertz an apology. Um, I don't think I was wrong with what I said. I think his performances were disappointing, like you, I just heard you say in, in another interview. A lot of the times we saw him, he was the worst player on the pitch. Whereas he's comfortably finding his feet. He's finally looking like he knows the system. He knows where he's supposed to be, mm -hmm. picking up positions. That, the left eight, the way, the way we play, you get so much time on the ball. You get so much space. Martinelli drags the right back out. Mm -hmm. Zinchenko inverts, brings yeah. the inverts, brings the winger. So that left eight, you get so much time and space on the ball. And in games at the start of the season, he was getting that time and space didn't have the confidence. At times I was questioning if he had the quality, but now he's getting the ball, he's driving forward, he's picking passes. There are a few moments where you kind of, you feel how you felt at the start of the season where he will over hit a pass or he won't turn and pick the right option. But I think for 80, 75, 80% of the game, he, he made the right options. He drove into the space and he got the goal. So yeah, big up Kai. He's, um, it's a really interesting use of that position. I've seen, Gundogan played as a boxer box. Xhaka played as a box box for us. I've seen Thiago, who's like a, a left 10 kind of mm. thing. Uh, David Silva was everything. He was a creator. He was brilliant. Havertz plays it more like a... I mean, everyone said his movement was great. He actually keeps him quite tidy on the ball. Like, he can drive into space, he, but he's more a dual winner. But then he's joining the strikers. Like, he's getting forward and, and moving right up to Jesus. So Jesus can come into that pocket. Erdegaard and Rice having a little bit more freedom in there as well. It's a really interesting use of the position. It is, and it's not a simple position to play. No. I think, no. look at the way you just spoke about it. It's not, he's not coming as a left winger. All right, get the ball, mm. drive at your fullback, get the ball. It's not that. Mm. You know, it's a position where you're being asked to do so many things. Like these yeah. players, Thiago, Gundogan, they're all technical players that have so much to their game. And Havertz coming in as, you know, he, he didn't play in that role at Chelsea. No, no, so it's, it's a new role for him to come in and do what Xhaka did so well last year and try and improve on that. Because we're all comparing him to, to essentially what Xhaka did, right? Uh, and, and well, not just that, we're also hoping he's an upgrade because as, exactly. as good as Xhaka was last year, I think Arsenal fans still reluctantly do look at the six, seven years before that and yeah. go, well, OK, last year it clicked, but it took so long. Like, we were always talking about upgrading on that position. Is Havertz that guy? Exactly. And I hope he is that guy. I'm starting to see it. Um, so, yeah, yeah big up to him. To. I don't want to focus too much on him again. No, no. Because it no was, but it's good focus. It is good focus. Yeah. Um, and yeah, 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 you're right. Like, last time I, I focused on it negatively and, and this time it's positive. So, yeah, yeah fantastic moment for him. Uh, Bukayo Saka is coming to life as well. I, I think since the international break, you know, I, I don't know if there's something about Arsenal playing a little bit with the handbrake on at the start of the season, protecting our wingers, knowing we've got a long season, we've got Champions League football and the schedule is only getting madder from next season as well. Of course, the Euros to come. It looks to me like Arsenal are, I don't know, going into third gear, maybe fourth gear now. And just and, and through that, you're having Saka and Martinelli. Martinelli got a lot wrong today, but both of them were having a great time against their fullbacks. It's been a, a long time since I've seen both of them do that. Yeah, I think... If I look at the game today, I think Saka, I think they both played really well. Mm -hmm. I think they're just lacking that, the clinical, the, the, the final pass or the finish. You know, we've seen Saka, you know he can finish on his right foot. You see, you've, we've seen the right foot yeah, kind of yeah. top of the net yeah, from the, the angle. Finish, yeah. You've seen him with the, the cut in and the defenders right in front of him and he kind of curls it around. Yeah. That's, that's what he's lacking. That's what Martinelli's lacking. It's kind of that, that clinical killer instinct in front of goal right now. But in terms of everything else, I think, it's, I think it was brilliant today. I think all the front four, Jesus, front five, Jesus, uh, Saka, Martinelli, Odegaard, Havertz, I think they all played really well. Odegaard, again, you can single him out as yeah. everything he did up to the finish or up to that final little yeah. killer pass yeah, just yeah, yeah. to slide it across for the tapping was perfect. Like we were saying on the fan cam, that could have been, and I don't think I'm exaggerating, that could have been a 6 7 nil mm -hmm. if, we just, if we just killed the game and we were just clinical. Completely agree. Like Completely against Lons, I don't think there was much. Maybe the opposition is better today. But then Lons are a Champions League team. I, I don't know. But against Lons, everything was clinical and we scored mm -hmm. six goals. We could have scored more. I, I, do you think it's. it's I thought this was a better performance than the Lons one. So, yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. So. 
Yeah, maybe the disappointment is we could have scored more goals, but I don't care. 2 0 at home, players playing well. Clean sheet's important. Clean sheet is important. Yeah, yeah big up the defence. I think the defence well, was going to be. Well, that was going to be my last thing. I said on the watch, and I said, I just want to thank Saliba and Gabriel for yeah. playing for our club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they are immense. They are immense. Um, yeah. It's, uh, me and you are both very much Emirates era fans, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the best two centre backs we've ever comfortably, seen. Emirates. Comfortably. Comfortably. Yeah. Who do we compare them to? Maybe I always, Koscielny? Up well, there? I, I always rate to Koscielny, and a lot of people disagree with me on AFTV about that. I always thought Koscielny, especially at his best, was really good for us. Mm. But he certainly never had a partnership, anything like this. Yeah, I know yeah, people yeah. mention Koscielny and Mertzaka, please. They're, yeah. they're amateur compared to what Saliba and Gabriel are doing right now. And I don't mean to be rude, but I'm just talking about the level that these two are performing at. I think they're complete. They're good on the ball. They're good off the ball. They're good in the air. They're good down the channels. They can do everything. And then you've got, yeah, someone like Koscielny, I think could have done well with either one of them. But those two are special as well. And you know what the difference is? When we bought in Mertesacker, he was a World Cup winner, he I was, believe. Yeah. Yeah. Koscielny was an experienced player. He played for France, however many caps for France. William Saliba's just started playing for France, not even established in the France squad. Yeah. Gabriel's just started playing for Brazil. I think this was a couple of... Yeah, 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 this year. He just got called up this year. Now he's starting to, to be, a, be a regular starter. These are young centre-backs and we're talking about them as the best partnership in the Premier League. It's actually ridiculous. I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah. It's, it it's not Van Dijk who's establishing... OK, Canate is still young, but he's more established in, in, in the France squad. It's not Ruben Diaz who's, you know, plays for Portugal and, yeah. and Stones who's established. It's not those two. It's impressive that these are two young centre-backs mm -hmm. that are performing at such a high level week in, week out, like dominating Premier League games. It's ridiculous, man. I, yeah, like you said, it's, it's an honour to watch them play for us. We're lucky to have them. Thank you for playing yeah. for us. In a bit, mate. Nice one, man.